check that out. That looks a little weird, right? Hmm. Yeah, I used I used quartz. I thought it looked really good down there. I think it does look good down there, especially against the uh, prismarine, but quartz might be too much. I mean, this is all going to change here. You know, I don't think it's going to stay tiered like that. Or even if it does, we're probably going to put trees in there or something. And it probably won't be cobblestone stairs. It might be something else. Stone, stone brick, whatever. But anyway, that looks, that looks awfully bright. Also, this dirt will be covered. You know, we'll, we'll put a pathway up alongside. Um, but still, so I'm not, I'm not sure. And it's just slabs. Uh, let's go check it out. Yeah, I don't know if the stripe's going to stay. I, I don't know anything here. This is all just work in progress. This is just seeing sort of the design the design phase happening as it happens, which is messy. It's nothing but messy. So I did try it for these slabs here. I did actually try one point. See, this looks really good. I think this is a great color scheme. We've got the bright green of the crops. We've got the nice white from the ivory or from the quartz. And then we have the blue aqua from the prismarine. I think it's a really nice look. Very classy. Underneath these, I have hoppers. Um, and I did use, I tried these stone slabs up here instead of the quartz, and that seemed to work okay. It's just not as nice. It's just not as slick, you know? But I don't know, it's so bright. Maybe when we have it on both sides, I'm not sure, like, like maybe it's too refined looking for being with all the stone in the background. Something about it is, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna finish it out. Uh, we'll finish it out to both sides. But what I was, uh, going to do here is I'm gonna wire it up and I'm gonna wire it for both sides there's something we have to add to the wiring and that is a delay pulse because what I want to happen normally what happens is you know up here we've got dispensers and some people use um, and I've done it before in the past as well use uh, pistons uh, holding back water the reason I went with dispensers instead of pistons holding back water is the fact that if you had pistons up here the pistons would have to be in this row the water would have to be here and you know or, or the pistons are here and the water's above it which causes shadow underneath basically you lose one to two rows of crops when you use the pistons and they're also they're just bigger and clunky and they take up you know two blocks worth of space because they're extended and then you have the water on top that's another block and you know it's just i don't know so these even though it's more resource intensive in the long run, we're not gonna be worried about resources, you know? But regardless, whether you use pistons or dispensers, you have, typically, you hit the button twice. You press the button once. I'm not gonna demonstrate yet because I'm not prepared <laughs> for these to be harvested yet. And as of right now, just, so, right, just so we know, this little ugly thing right here is gonna stay and be our temporary storage. Everything comes down here and runs into this double chest and the nether work comes down and runs into this chest. And that's just how it's gonna be for now until I can go down and fabricate a nice collection room and we can decorate it and all that stuff. And maybe it'll go on this side, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but, so this won't stay, it's temporary. But anyway, so the trick is, normally you click the button. That starts the water flow. Water has to run for a certain amount of time to bring all the crops from way up there all the way down here. And on soul sand, it runs slow. I timed it for this, for these four tiers, to have the water bring every last drop of nether wart, except for the ones that, you know, get lost on the sides, which is just inevitable, unless I make, you know, uh, unless I put like glass blocks or other full blocks here, which then makes it a pain to go in there and replant. So I'd rather just, yeah, it's fine. Let the, let the little bits, the strays float on the, on the slabs, cause you gotta replant anyway. So you just run up and down, pick up the strays, go in there and replant. Um, so that's the logic behind that choice. But uh, anyway, it takes a full minute for water. Once water starts flowing, you have to let it run. Water has to flow for a minute, 60 seconds, before you turn it off to get all the, all the crops down into the hoppers here. So normally you hit the button, click it, and then you wait, right? You wait till you think it's all down in there, and then you click it again and you turn it off. Well, I'd like to automate that, so it's a one click. So I hit the button once and I can walk away. And it will turn itself off after one minute. So the way to do that is to use a hopper clock delay. So what we have here's four buttons, four possible button locations where you can click the button. And they're all gonna come down and they're gonna run into the same input. 
which come down here. And what happens is signal runs down into this line, splits, goes off, and it's going to trigger the dispensers on either side of the farms. At the same time, this, dis this is going to run into our timer delay. And what the hopper timer delay will do is, as this signal runs the first time, turns the water on, then the signal here runs into the hopper timer delay, which means it'll hold the signal for X number of seconds, in our case, 60 seconds. Then it will kick out a pulse, and that pulse will go back into this line. It will activate the dispensers a second time, thereby turning off the water flow. I brought some sandstone blocks so we could kind of tell what we were doing here. So it's gonna run into this, and what's happening here is, we have redstone dust. We're gonna run it into a hopper. This is our hopper clock here. So two hoppers facing into each other. This signal, of course, locks this hopper. And we're gonna put up a redstone block there. Oops, I shouldn't do that. I need a block there. We're gonna put up a sticky piston on both sides of this redstone block. Take those off. Here, so that when it's collapsed, yeah. Okay, so. There's that. And of course we have, we need two comparators, which have to go here and here. So what those are gonna do is they're gonna take a signal out of the hoppers. Whenever one hopper has got stuff in it, it'll take the signal out. Yeah, our fish supply is getting actually kinda low, actually, so we need to, uh, we'll have a reason for setting up the chicken farm, the chicken delivery service. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right, so we threw down our comparators and they take the signals out of the hoppers. So when a hopper has got a bunch of stuff in it, it'll be kicking out a signal and that signal will go into a block which will kick it into this redstone dot which will activate this piston which will grab this which will extend actually push the block to where it is right there and vice versa when this guy is active he will do the same thing this is a very um left to right specific build so items have to start off in one thing and then because this signal here it's going to come out of here we need a repeater we need a repeater so we get a full full strength signal out of this block which will kick it down and run it into, let's see. So when items are in this hopper, this will have a signal, which will boost a signal into this block, which will power both this repeater and this dust here. This dust, of course, powers this piston, which will push the redstone block over here to lock that hopper while items are draining into here. And at the same time, the signal coming out of this block from this hopper will go through this repeater down our down our redstone line and into this block which will turn this off which will turn this off which will unlock that hopper okay and then our signal out actually comes out over here so I do need some more space we're going to put a monostable circuit I had to look up what that was because I finally got fed up not knowing exactly what monostable circuit means and I found out Monostable circuit is a circuit that is stable until otherwise. All right, so I'm gonna grab us some more floor space here. We're just using these slabs so that we know this is a redstone area. Okay, so what we need here is another dot of dust so that when this block slides over here, it will power this dust. And now this type of delay, um, this hopper clock delay thing, actually can be used to send a pulse or a steady signal. If you wanted to send a steady signal, a signal that was just on for the 60 seconds or however long you wanted it to be on, you would just power a line out like this. We, though, we want a pulse, which just pulses it once um, for a tick or whatever, game tick. And in order to do that, then we put in our monostable circuit, which means that piston, when this clicks on, the piston will fire but it'll have enough of a, if I can get this in there, yeah. 
it'll fire, it'll run through here for one tick, and then it'll go into this repeater, which will give it a, which will make a full strength signal, but then the piston will extend, which will break that signal, um, which means it will then turn off. So it's only on for just a tick. So that just means we can take this signal now and bring it over here and kick it into our line. The redstone will run 15, 15 blocks, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to put a repeater in here just to be safe. So our signal will come down from our buttons up there, run down in here. This strengthens it again, kicks it into our delay. And of course our delay actually needs, I timed it out, it needs 60, it needs um, basically, yeah, two and a half stacks. And this is gonna run down and do our, our other formats that way. And it'll also go into here, so we need a repeater here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's just put one in here. There we go. I can do this though. This is just making a walkway, so we can go over here and walk, walk down our tunnel. All right, so one, two, I'm counting it from the repeater here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have to back that up a little bit. And then that'll go here. This is where I was gonna do the, the, yeah, the thing that we just built over there, the hopper delay, but I realized we wanna do two farms on each side of the walkway, so we needed to go both ways. So this should be fine here. It runs down here into our farm. Same thing here. There's our torch right there. We'll cover this up with uh, grass, etc. And we'll clean all this up, of course, and dress it. That was the other thing. I, I like this. Um, this block looks kind of good with the redstone on top of it. So I kind of left it exposed. Uh, we could cover it up, of course, if we want. So now we can test it. Theoretically, it should work, but of course, you know, you never know until you test it. And of course, who am I but crying most? So you know, you know we got to test it. And you know we're going to find a bug. You know it. I have such confidence <laughs> in myself. Okay. All right, let's see. So... This is all prepped. These are all grown up. This is all grown up. I think I'm missing one piece of redstone back here. Yes, I am. That should be good now. It should be able to be fired. That should be able to be fired. Let's try it. And we'll see what happens. You know, whatever. We'll do a lot of, uh, so we click it. Nothing happens. Didn't turn anything on. Hmm, let's see, let's, uh, I just want to see if the repeaters work this way. So that's on, if we, oh, it doesn't power that block, that's why. I just want to check and see. That should turn off now. Yes, so repeater into a block works. Redstone into a block with a repeater on top does not work. So that's going to fire. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. This will not be okay. So this and the repeater has to go here. There we go. That's it. I think that's our, that was our issue. All right, let's try it for real. Okay, here we go. There we go. Got some water play. There, look at all that. Look at all that. Okay. Looks pretty good. Of course, we're going to have little bits and pieces floating. That's fine. And I'm just going to let it run through the timer here. And we're going to see if it turns off in a minute. One minute. And it didn't turn off anyway. Why didn't it turn off? All right, let's try it. Ready? That turns them on.
and it turns it off. Okay, so that was that was the issue there is I had to put a delay. I needed to put a delay in this guy right here. If you leave it on full, I think the pulse is too short. It doesn't it doesn't actually go anywhere. So I put on a four tick delay and that should guarantee that everything works. So let's um We'll just do a stack and a half, because that seemed to run really long. And of course we can't test it again though until we have crops growing. See how long it takes to push them all into here. So now I gotta go replant. That'll take forever, but it works. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's our one button. And we'll have a button here and here, here and here. And they'll all go to the same circuit and they'll all harvest all the crops. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I've done both sides and they function just right. Um, it takes a long time to replant these fields for sure. Uh, I ran out of uh, dark prismarine here, so we definitely have to go and uh, set up an actual, an actual farm, uh, an actual guardian farm, so we can have an endless supply. Oh yeah, and I had a creeper blow up right here and I'm missing one of these blocks. Awesome. So anyway, yeah, I think it looks pretty good now, now that it's almost fully dressed. And I think it looks, I think it's pretty awesome. These, of course, like I said, are temporary. Um, they're doing pretty well here. So for our villager farm up there. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually, uh, we'll, eventually we'll make a, um, a chamber, you know, we'll go downstairs and we'll build out a nice room that uh, all these crops sort of populate into and we can retrieve them and decorate that and then we cover this up and it'll just be walkways. It looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy as far as how it sticks out in the middle of everything, of the regular dirt and the stone. I mean, it's pretty bright, but you know, we're gonna end up building up all around this and making some pretty, pretty awesome design stuff. So we'll just, we'll just keep at it, keep adding stuff. I will say one thing, let's go, I wanna show you, we'll look at it from the top really quick. Let's see what it looks like up there. But um, I will say one thing that I've noticed, um, that I, I just realized, um, almost every other Let's Play um, YouTuber has, uh, I started clearing this area out too, because this is where we're gonna start, you know, this is where we're gonna build our main area, our sorting system and all that good stuff. Oh, look at that. Looking pretty cool. Yeah, not too bad. We're getting there. All right, I'm gonna put a design in here. I'm gonna put a design in the in the bottom, underneath the water. I think it would be kind of cool. I have an idea for what I'm gonna do, so that should be in there in the next couple episodes. But anyway, yeah, that looks pretty nice, right? That's pretty cool, and imagine that road is gonna go out that way and off into the desert, and we can build other things will be happening out there. Yeah, I like that. It's, 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 yeah, it's interesting. You guys can let me know. Um, if you hate it, if you like it, um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, so anyway, I was saying that, um, I realized that almost every other YouTuber, uh, or Let's Plays, they've already built the first night structures, they've built little houses, stuff that they live in, and I have yet to build, like, a single structure, um, that's actually, like, a, a walk-in structure, except for this little temporary base thing. Um, which I guess, I guess it counts, but it's, it's just a hallway basically. But anyway, let's get rid of this stuff and we'll jump over to, well, what I'd like to do here is we'll, we'll harvest this stuff and replant. I'll do that in, off camera, but let me just show you how it works here. So you can see, I mean, you, you, you know how it works, but we can, there it goes. Yep. All right, so, cause I'll replant these and then uh, we'll start building up the uh, the iron farm platforms. And since that'll take forever, you know, we can, hopefully the crops will grow. Hopefully I'm not too far away, just over that way. Uh, but yeah, it's on its timer. I put uh, over a stack and a half in that uh, hopper clock. And I think that's enough to get all of the nether ward down into the hoppers, I think. Um, it was a little shy at the beginning there. I only had a stack and a quarter, and it wasn't quite enough. Let's see here if they go in there, the last ones. 
Come on. Oh, it turned off. You heard it? So that's stopped the water. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Got them all off the soul sand. Same here. So now, of course, the ones on the edges, I run around. I have to pick up everything off the edges. I know, it's just tedious. But that's all we have time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Come back in a couple days, and uh, I swear we'll build the iron farm next time. <laughs> We've uh, been putting that off for so long, but now all the ducks are in a row. We've got everything ready to go. Have a great week. Have a great day. Enjoy life. Be good. Crime out. Bye.